The other answer was, look, people aren't, they just don't care. They still don't care. You sell when everyone's excited. You don't sell when people don't care. And there's a, there's one other, there's this chart I found actually. So one of the great things about Twitter, um, you know, there's lots of not so great things, but one of the great things about it is you get access to just absolutely incredible, um, you get access to incredible uh, thought leadership and um, just brilliant ideas. Some of the best content creators in the world are on Twitter sharing their content because you know that's how they get sort of the widest, uh, right. widest audiences. There's a, a great uh, Twitter contributor, his name is Brian Feroldi, and we put him at the top of our last white paper, um, which is we show a chart going up where, where it says, can't wait for a pullback, and then afterwards going down, it's too risky to invest now. Yeah. And again, like people, people have written books about this, they've done articles, they've done long podcasts and whatever, but this just small image is so powerful. When you think about the psychology of doing nothing, which is what most people do when there are great opportunities. And you know, the psychology around energy investment so far has been on this full negative track up and down. And my thought is that there's a wonderful opportunity, especially on the way down, there's a great opportunity to go buy because no one's buying. There's tons of stuff that's gotten just absolutely thrown out. Maybe not the stocks that Warren Buffett's buying or the stocks that are on the front page of the Wall Street Journal or that you know 100,000 people on Twitter are talking about, but there's a whole set of companies that are at absurdly low valuations and there's a great opportunity to go buy them in a, in a frame where everyone has this I missed it mindset or it's a too risky mindset.